Today we shall address one of the most frequently asked questions in YouTube, astrology. Are, is, or will there be any use of seeing nakshatras in divisional charts? Like Yonavamsha chart, Dashamsha chart, is there any use of seeing where a particular planet is? Okay. Many times people say, oh, I have this planet in this nakshatra, in the D1. And in the D9 and in the D10, it is in the, that particular nakshatra. Okay. What does it mean? Well, it means a lot. <laughs> it just means so much. It is, see, whenever you are talking about divisional charts, it's very crucial that you read the divisional chart after reading the lagna chart. Okay. First, you read the lagna chart. The biggest blunder people do when they make predictions by using divisional charts is they do not see how that result is flowing to the lagna chart. Yes, the result has to flow. Whatever has happened in a particular divisional chart, that's inside your brain. That is all here. All the divisional charts are here. It's inside this. That's all. <laughs> Now you may say, oh, well, then why, why at all look at divisional charts, right? But it's very important because what is here ultimately comes out. Okay, You can't stop the outside coming to uh, the inside coming to outside. Okay, As sometimes you can't stop the outside going inside. Okay, So there is the dynamics. So for example, if a planet is in a particular nakshatra, in the lagna chart then you have to understand that externally the traits related to those planets and those houses will play out in that particular fashion and the nakshatras where these planets are in the divisional charts they will tell you what is going on inside what's going on inside nakshatras in divisional charts will tell you the inside story <laughs> Many times I've seen journalists, they name this as, you know, the tagline, the headline cover, you know, the inside story. You know. It's like something which is the truth. <laughs> this is it. It's fake news, but sometimes the truth comes out, you know, there's a post-truth. These are uh, terminologies which are permeating the YouTube uh, landscape when it comes to journalism. So similarly, it's the same with astrology. What is in, as they say, inside out. Okay. So if you want to know inside out, first you have to know the inside, which is the divisional chart. So for example, if a person has uh, Venus in uh, Rohini Nakshatra, not in the Navamsa chart, in your Lagna chart, imagine you have Venus in 15 degrees of Taurus and it's in Rohini Nakshatra, undoubtedly. Then what do you make, make out of it? Okay, you check that where is the nakshatra lord placed. Who is the nakshatra lord of Rohini? Yes, it's undoubtedly the moon. So then next step is you check the moon. So suppose your Venus is in Rohini and your moon, uh, your moon is in your 10th house. Okay, any ascendant, irrespective of which ascendant it is. You have Venus in Rohini in Taurus, in any house, but the Nakshatra Lord Moon is in the 10th house. So big things related to your career and name, fame, power, position will happen because the Nakshatra Lord is sitting there. Now, imagine your Venus is in Rohini. okay, And now Venus here is not just creativity, fun, love, romance, marriage, relationships. That's the problem. Because uh, uh, that's not a problem with astrology. It's the problem with us who interpret Venus like that very simplistically. For example, if Venus is your 10th lord, it might have nothing to do with career, uh, marriage. It, although it is the natural significator of marriage, it could have everything to do with career along the Venusian domain. Yeah. Now suppose your Venus is in Rohini and your nakshatra lord moon is in the 10th house. In your lagna chart. I am only talking about lagna chart. Now then what happens? When you get a promotion, it could happen that somebody is becoming jealous of you. In your dasha of Venus. This can only happen during dasha of Venus. Remember, 
nakshatras are more powerful than planets so the probability that you get a promotion during venus dasha is much more than moon if the nakshatra lord of venus which is the moon is in the 10th house then moon itself sitting there because when you say moon is in the 10th and moon dasha is running only the planet is uh, uh, indicating the 10th house but when you say venus is uh, venus is going to give you promotions it will be really big because the nakshatra lord which is more important than the planet is sitting in the 10th house okay the probability of getting a bigger promotion in venus increases compared to moon dasha for in this particular example okay so therefore suppose your venus is in rohini so it could happen that some people in your office become jealous of you why because rohini nakshatra has this trait of being uh, either becoming uh, jealous of others or becoming victims of others jealousy one of the two will happen now suppose this jealousy is going on and then you know the eighth lord is also sitting in the 10th with moon or something so there can be some defamy you know, or some uh, your reputation could be hampered you know eighth house can show uh, your sexuality so something to do with your sexuality can uh, come into forefront or somebody may accuse you of uh, sexually harassing somebody okay these things can happen for example in rohini these things happen remember the story of lord krishna and chatranjit in rohini that happens you know jambavan and then uh, we have uh, the marriage of jambavati satyabhama and lord krishna so these are the things which happen but suppose this same venus who is in rohini nakshatra in your birth chart in your lagna chart whose nakshatra lord moon is in the 10th now this same venus in your dashamsha chart in your dashamsha chart suppose this venus is sitting in the fourth house okay this venus is sitting in the fourth house and suppose this venus is sitting in the nakshatra of swati okay venus is in swati nakshatra in the fourth house now where is swati located swati is entirely in uh, libra and this is advanced astrology okay because many of you will be wondering uh, what's happening uh, you may not be able to understand what's going on okay now of course that's a totally different calculation can venus be in swati or not if it is in libra in uh, if it is in taurus in the lagna chart so let me see how many of you can write it in the comments is it possible for venus to be in libra dashamsha okay if venus is in taurus in the nakshatra of rohini in the lagna chart let me see how many of you can answer this question all right anyways let's assume that venus is in rohini in the lagna chart and then venus goes to swati dashamsha all right mm -hmm. now what happens how will you how will you predict or how will you help a person suppose a person comes and tells you oh sir um, or madam which universe which area should i go into when it comes to a career or profession because dashamsha is all about profession and career well then what do you do you try to combine things so for example if you see air signs and swati nakshatra linked with a fourth house this can 100% guarantee aviation aviation industry okay so that's how you know what is going to happen so because what is the wind and fourth house is vehicles okay therefore venus in the fourth house in swati nakshatra within libra in the dashamsha can make you interested in aeroplanes and it can make you interested into uh, those skydiving and all this but you may be just uh, liking to go for skydiving or you know you may, you may just like to fly you may like to do n number of things you may like to do you may like to make videos on aeroplanes Okay, you may like to make videos on you know luxury airplanes like first class, business class, all these seats or dishes, cuisines which are served inside an airplane. Yes, fourth house Venus Swati. But 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 how will you know if that will take you to career and to profession? For that you have to see where the nakshatra lord of Venus is in your lagna chart. I am not talking of the samshaya only lagna chart. 
as I said earlier, remember the Nakshatra Lord of Venus, which is Moon, is in the tenth house. So we are assume. So this means that the Nakshatra Lord of Venus is promising some great event in career, but the story inside the head is I am attracted to fourth house. What is fourth house? Fourth house is you know safety. It's vehicles. It's aeroplanes, and then anything that makes makes your life comfortable, makes you feel good about yourself. Not necessarily <laughs> sometimes though. And then you know what is Swati Nakshatra? Okay, Swati Nakshatra is all about the wind. So therefore the probability increases. But now because this Venus is in Rohini in the Lagna chart. So therefore it could happen that you are working as an air host or an air hostess, okay? And you are in a particular plane and you got a promotion. You became a senior executive. And then some other person becomes envious. And if the eighth lord is involved, they'll try to pull you down. If the twelfth lord is involved, they'll uh, put a case against you. If the sixth lord is involved, you know, some uh, some money you have to pay to somebody, you know. <clears throat> Uh, like court case and all this, so you have to spend money on lawyers, you know, 6th or 12th house, somebody may try to harm you, then you might have to go to a hospital. So that's externally what's happening, who can see that, but what is the origin, why at all are you in the aviation industry, why at all do you have a desire to become an air host or air hostess, whatever they call it, why in the universe, nobody can tell that, if Venus is in Rohini and Moon is in the 10th. Okay, you are getting promotion and all big, big things are happening. You are going up the ladders of success. People are becoming envious and jealous and they are trying to pull you down. But why are you there at the first place? <laughs> that which is inside here is manifesting outside. Okay. So that which is inside, that the nakshatra of the divisional chart will tell you. Otherwise, you will see thousands of things. You will see, oh, Venus is here, Saturn is here, Moon is here, Sun is here. But what in the universe did, did the, how in the universe did these placements force the person to go towards this side? Because somebody may have the same Lagna chart, but may have a different Dashamsha. So if your Dashamsha is different, then this will have a totally different flavor. The origin will come from the Dashamsha. Your interest, your desire, what do you want to do in life? What do you want to contribute to society? Or only you are only interested in contributing to yourself. <laughs> All these things will be seen from the Dashamsha chart. Therefore, once when you know the Dashamsha, then you bring it to the Lagna chart. Now suppose this same placement would be there. Venus is in Swati, in the fourth house. Okay, And then your Venus in your Lagna chart, and your Lagna chart, your Venus is placed in the fifth house in Taurus, in Rohini. Okay. And the Nakshatra Lord of um, uh, Rohini, which is Moon, is not there in the tenth house, is there in third house, suppose. Then what will happen is then you will be interested into all this, uh, you know, aviation industry and all. But because this is the tenth house is not linked, so you will do it more as, you know, uh, like uh, they will do uh, this vlogging and all this. You know, you can write blogs or you could make videos or, you know, third house shows, you know, writing articles or, you know, you could make short, short videos. These kind of things could be there. And if the ninth lot is conjunct, then what could happen? You might do that when you are going long distance journeys, you know, like from India to Germany, US to Australia, something like this, you know, Europe to Japan, something like that. So then the ninth house is involved. So long distance travel is involved. If 12th house is involved, it can... Uh, make you permanently settle in some place. You know, you go somewhere and you like the place and you decide to stay there. So therefore, if you want to know what is the manifestation outside, you have to know the origin, the source. Therefore, it is very crucial you check the nakshatras in the divisional charts. And now the most important thing is don't get into a dog fight, cat fight. <laughs> Oh, my Venus is in this nakshatra here and there it is in that nakshatra. What will happen? It's 50-50. 50% 50, 50. 50 of 50 of Rohini will become active. 50% of Swati will become active. No, they will not activate like that. They will act, be activated 100% but in different realms. All right. So do not make two nakshatras compete with each other. Funny questions people ask. <laughs> 
many times people say oh my venus is in a okay okay nakshatra in a d1 chart okay okay means not good not bad they think nakshatras are okay okay also no? <laughs> some nakshatras which are not very much hard of in youtube especially i have seen no uh, people keep telling me you know they have heard of uh, rohini nakshatra they have heard of magha nakshatra they have heard of pushya nakshatra they have heard of jeshta nakshatra the most criminalized nakshatra according to some people uh nakshatra is like hasta chitra you know rarely they have heard tanishta and all this so anyways so people sometimes they think venus is there in these signs or any other planet then that planet is like useless it's not going to yield any results okay they think like this but anyways let's assume you have a planet you know suppose saturn in a particular nakshatra which is not so prominent in youtube and then they see that same venus is in a very quote and quote prominent nakshatra in d9 then they think oh sir will my d9 be more prominent sir my d9 will overtake my d1 it will overpower my d1 you know my d1 is useless because this planet is in not such a nice nakshatra you know because nobody knows about this nakshatra right and then in d10 it's in a another nakshatra all right then they are like competing okay venus is here it's there it's here it's there what the hell is he going to do no he is going to do everything but you have to know how he is doing it and where he is doing it and when he is doing it <laughs> all right so when you know how where and when then you can actually know what exactly venus is doing okay therefore when somebody says i have venus in third house what will happen a number of things can happen okay because it depend you have to know from where that venus is coming and where does that person want to use that particular venus okay there you go that will be all for my side so please check uh, nakshatras in divisional charts and do not make them compete with each other do not think that this is a famous nakshatra in youtube so that will happen that chart is more prominent this chart is not prominent don't go by all these claims okay there are four or five nakshatras which are flooding all over so don't think like that all right so wherever any planet is there whichever divisional chart the effect will come 100% guaranteed but where how and when <laughs> all right and because you because you have not done study of astrology in depth and you are unable to answer these three questions where how and when that is why you keep doing all these uh, juggleries you keep getting into these juggleries oh this is good this is bad this is you know horrible this is excellent this is brilliant this is mind blowing this is out of the world okay and this is so useless all right so do not get into all this understand that every nakshatra plays its role okay. and which traits of the nakshatra will come out and which trait will not come out that will depend on the placements and the overall horoscope and the coherence and how things are synchronizing with each other all right thank you very much for your patience and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it uh, and if you want a consultation from me you will find the link to my website down below and god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you if you have planets in uh, bad youtube nakshatras okay thank you